Hello, it's Sonia here with The Pretty Stitch. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time joining me, I'm so happy to have you here. So today is going to be an update video, so I'm just going to let you know what's been going on for the last month or so. I had a wrap-up video in January of 2021, of 2020 pretty much. I had done a series called Bust My Stash, and I just wanted to wrap it up and show you how far I got in uh, busting my yarn stash, because I have so much yarn and I was wanted to document and see how many things I could make out of it and how many patterns I could make and how much yarn I could use. So long story short, still have a lot to go. <laughs> but you know, it, it was really fun to do and I still, you know, have a lot of yarn left over and so lots of yarny adventures ahead of me. So today's video, I am going to update you on my new series for 2021, which was going to be the year of the doll, a 18 inch doll. I did a couple patterns for 18 inch dolls and got a really great response for that. And I thought I would focus on those for 2021. So the goal for that is to have one 18 inch doll pattern for the month. So the doll pattern of the month. And if you're not sure what an 18 inch doll is, that would be an American girl doll, a Canadian girl doll. They're uh, those dolls that you see. I think Walmart has them. They're called My Life. Uh, there's uh, Gotz dolls or Goats. I don't know how to say it. I think it's G-O-T-Z and they have 18 inch dolls. So and there's other ones as well. So I think Madame Alexander had some really pretty ones a few years ago. So if you can get your hands on a, a Madame Alexander 18 inch doll, they're really sweet dolls. So most of these patterns will fit those dolls. There, there's a little bit of size discrepancies with some of them, like some of the older American Girl dolls, their bodies are a little bit larger and some of the newer ones, they're slimmer. You know, there's just little bits here and there, but you know, I try to make the patterns so that they'll fit most of the dolls. So that is what we're going to be focusing on. So I already have the pattern out for January 2021. It's a hat pattern and there is a matching sweater. And I just put that out and my goal was to have one the patterns to be out the first week of February, but that just didn't happen. Uh, 2021 so far has really been horrible. It's been, it's been very sucky for our family. <laughs> uh, we've just had a lot of medical drama going on. It started right at the end of 2020. My husband fell and he tore something in his leg. And it's the same leg where he's had an ongoing uh, wound because he is type 2 diabetic. So he uh, developed a wound on his foot uh, months ago, which, you know, we were keeping an eye on it and it was getting better. But then the tendon thing happened and it just has been downhill. My daughter had surgery for her mouth. She had five extractions, uh, four wisdom teeth, and then a baby tooth that just wouldn't come out. And then she had a hole drilled in her mouth. So. Uh, that was for orthodontics because her teeth, as she says, are a design fail. So uh, we went through all that and she recovered really well. And then she was back in school, I kid you not, three days. And then we get a call, she was exposed to COVID. So I'm like, oh my word. So this poor child, she had gone quarantine, praise God, she never got COVID. And now, and I had some tooth issues myself and a lot of pain with that, but I got that resolved. But now we're dealing with my husband's wound issue again. It's He's now in the hospital. I just got home from the hospital today. So everything's just been put on the back burner with that. Um, so I am, you know, I am trying to crochet in between all of that. We don't know how long he's going to be in there. Hopefully by the time you see this, he will be out, but it's got a, a long, long, long road ahead of him. So yeah it's just you know one thing after the other but you know hopefully spring is coming and i can have a lot more uh, crochet things out there so i'll just update you you know with what i've made so far or have been able to start again not not so much so i you know sorry about that but you know, i do try to fit in the crocheting and some knitting because it's kind of therapeutic for me with everything that's been happening and also um on a, a bright spot i have almost a thousand subscribers so thank you so much everybody so i'm hoping in march 
to do a giveaway as a thank you to everyone as I once I reach a thousand and I will definitely have an announcement and showing you what you're gonna get yeah so that's what's going on and as I said before I did make a few things so I will show you what I have made so let's get to it so for January I as I said before that's the doll of the month I made a hat pattern and I can link that below it's called the beginners luck hat pattern and I actually have a written pattern for a person. So you could make it either for a child, so the child could have a matching hat with a doll, or if you just want a hat for yourself, uh, the, the written pattern is available and it's a free pattern. And so I have made one hat out of it. So here you go. Here's the hat. And this is a really cute project to use up a lot of scrap yarn. It, I think it looks really nice in a bunch of different colors. You can certainly make it in just one color if you want to but I just think it looks the best in you know just throw in a bunch of colors I guess I have three different colors that I've used for this one but I've had other ones where I've made it with like six different colors and again there's a matching doll hat so if you know you have a child that wants to have a matching hat with her doll here you go and um, it has lots of texture I love like patterns with texture so this one you know it's very textury textury that, I don't know. I'm, I'm just making up words. My brain is fried. Like I said, it's been it's been rough, rough couple weeks. So I can't like I don't know, string like coherent sentences together. I don't think. <laughs> but I still have to uh, weave in some ends. So my next item I have to show you is the doll pattern of the month for February, and it matches the beginner's luck hat. So here we go. Here is the sweater and. This video will have just come out and I will have it linked below. So here is my finished sweater that I made and I think it's really, really cute. I did just use two colors with this. So as I said, you know, with, with the hat, you know, you can use a bunch of different colors. You can certainly do that with the sweater. You know, you could make this with, you know, every row could be a different color. I think it'd be really cute. So yeah, here is the doll pattern of the month, beginner's luck sweater. So keeping with the toy theme, I have this lovely internet friend who uh, had bought one of my patterns and I made this pattern um, it's oh, it's 10 years old at least 10 years old and 10 years ago my oldest daughter was super into webkins I don't know if you know what webkins are but they're stuffed animals and they would come with a little tag and you could you would go on their website and then you would plug in there was a code on the tag and then you put that code in and you would adopt then you adopted your animal, whatever it was, and then you could play games and your pet would have a house. They might even still have it, but back then it was a whole lot better because most of it was free. You just had to buy the animal and then you had this fun, you know, digital world on Webkinz. And she loved it, but now you have to pay for like everything on there. So they kind of, I think, ruined it. But it was a fun little site and she loved it and she loved like dressing her animals. So she asked me to make some clothing for her webkins. So I did and I um, put it online. Haven't had very many sales, but this, my, as I said, my lovely internet friend, she bought it and she tried to make it. And there was a couple little snags there because again, it was one of my very first patterns <laughs> that I wrote. And she asked for help and I was like, um, okay, I don't remember not like anything hardly. So I uh, looked at it and I made some things. So I actually had a lot of fun making it. I, again, it's been very stressful and it was just fun to make something frivolous. So here we have the little stuffed animal outfit here. So it's a little halter style top because I made a halter style because my daughter back then just adored halter style tops <laughs> and she still kind of does like them. She's almost 20 years old, <laughs> but so I had to make that and then I made this little skirt. So it fits um, this size. I guess these are like eight inch animals and you would need to have ones that are like the four-legged variety. So this is a little deer. I uh, would fit a dog, a horse, a kitty, a raccoon, you know, uh, a dinosaur wouldn't, unless it was, um, there are there dinosaurs that have legs like this, you know, like a T-Rex has the short little ones, but you know, the animal would need to kind of resemble this. Like a seal wouldn't really work or a whale. Uh, you get the idea. I guess you could put the skirt on the seal. <laughs> 
But yeah, so here we go. I made this, so I was looking at the pattern, saw that it was a hot mess, and decided to redo it, and I'm going to relaunch it again. And I made a video for it because I actually had so much fun making this. It was just like a hoot to make this. And I thought, you know what? I'm gonna make a fun video. So this video will be coming out of the halter top and the little skirt. And of course I made two. So here it is with on a horse. This is my youngest daughter's. She's 14 and she's a horse lover, loves her horses. So like every stuffed animal she owns, is a horse and this I believe is a webkins I think it's a webkin I think both of these are webkins so if you want to know what a webkins is but it'll fit other animals that are similar in size and again the little halter top and you can make this in you know however many colors you want this is just some leftover simply soft yarn it uses DK weight or I'm not DK, it uses worsted weight yarn. But Simply Soft to me is similar to a DK weight. It's a little bit lighter weight than, let's say this I know is a uh, Red Heart Super Saver. So I don't know if you can see the difference on camera that this yarn is, is slightly thinner than this yarn, but it, it's, it's fine. It's for an animal. It has a little bit of stretch to it. So this was like a nice little stress reliever of the little stuffed animal set so I will have this video up hopefully in the next couple weeks and the revised written pattern with better pictures when I first started out I didn't have a really nice camera so I have pictures on there but you know the quality is like you know pretty sad so they're they're a lot better now <laughs> I hope so I hope I learned some things in the last 10 years so I do have two more things to show you and these are things that are in progress so here we have another 18 inch doll outfit. This will be the 18 inch doll pattern for March and hopefully I'll get it out a whole lot sooner than the February one. <laughs> so this one is going to be a dress. I just really wanted to make a dress and just kind of make it like princessy and just kind of a little over the top. So it's in progress here and I had wanted it to be longer but it ended up being a shorter one and it's going to be again a halter style because I was trying to use up this yarn, so I have this like baby fingering weight type yarn which has that like sparkle thread in it. I'm not a big fan of that yarn, but it works really well for doll clothes, so I thought I'll use that up to make this. And I actually have pretty much used up this entire skein, which is really great. So as I said before, it's still in progress. I'm working on it's gonna have a little over skirt, you know, like some of those like Disney princess dresses I just thought that would be really cute So I'm working on the over skirt and we're gonna add some other little things on here So it'll be a surprise, but I'm actually really pleased with how this one is turning out I think it's super cute and it shouldn't be too difficult for somebody that you know is a newer crocheter to make this it's a pretty simple easy uh, pretty easy construction and hopefully I'll have some more detailed, you know, dress patterns later as I go through the, my series. I'm not sure what else I'm going to make. I feel like my brain is fried, so I'll, I'll come up with something for... <laughs> we got a lot more months to go. <laughs> but so yeah, this guy's coming up soon. And my last project is a knitted project. So here we go. I'm working on a sweater. And... I'm going to keep showing it to you guys because it's going to be incentive for me to get this thing done because I've, you know, did the body of the sweater, which is, you know, goes pretty good. But then we get to sleeves and sleeves, the problem is you got to make two of them. And I like it when you can make these two at a time, but I have to use my double pointed. I pulled them out so that I could try it on and see how much I need to decrease down the arm. But it's just kind of like, I feel like even though it's a shorter amount of stitches, like this part seemed to go a lot faster. And now I feel like the sleeves are just dragging. And plus with all the drama that I've been dealing with, it's like, ugh. But, so I'm going to keep showing it to you because I do really like it. I think it's cute. It's kind of, the yarn's kind of crazy, but, you know, it's for me. And, you know, sometimes you just need crazy sweater to kind of, you know, make your life a little bit brighter. So... <laughs> I am I'm going to you know make this sweater and hopefully it'll make me smile when I wear it so yes I need to uh, keep cracking with this sleeve and then 
you know, you get one sleeve done and you feel like, oh, I'm so accomplished. And then you're like, oh, I got to make another sleeve. So yeah, but we're going to power through this. So those are all the projects that I have going on right now. I'll have the announcement video up soon with the giveaway. Again, I thank you so much for everyone that subscribed and all the really nice comments that has actually really meant so much to me, especially right now with everything that's been going on. And I hope things are going a lot better for you guys out there than they are for me. But, you know, it's got to go, you know, as I say, it can only go up from here, right? <laughs> so I hope that you enjoyed this video today and I thank you so much for watching.